Well, welcome everybody tuning in to this weekly message from Bishop Eden, our Redemptorist home here in Liverpool. I'm recording very early today, it's uh, only just gone 11 o'clock, but um, I'm hoping to get most of the day off, although I'm in one of those phases where I feel that man proposes and God disposes. Um, but I had a really good night's sleep and I thought, well, a pretty free day. Uh, however, one or two things have come in, uh, particularly a, lo a rather lovely request from the Royal, from the hospital, Tom Farraker, some of you, many of you will know him from St. Mary's. Apparently, the nurse phoned up and said uh, he's insisted that he would like to see Tim Buckley. And so Haley informed me of that, and um, I'm delighted to be able to go and say a few prayers with Tom. Um, he's very poorly, so do keep him in your prayers. And while we're at it, there are one, well, there's one other person particularly I know who's in the Royal, so I may well be able to pop and see her as well uh, at that time. Um, Meanwhile, I'm conscious that uh, the schools are breaking up at the end of this week, and uh, indeed, uh, some of them today. So I'm just hoping and praying that uh, everybody has a really good break. We've had uh, one or two challenges, as you know, during this first half term of the year, but uh, let's pray that uh, the staff and the pupils will have a relaxing time and we can all return uh, reunited and working together uh, with the Lord for the future. I have had one or two remarkable experiences. You know, I often talk about those moments when I see the connections, when I sort of sense that our Lord's tapping me on the shoulder and saying, look, I am here, you know. Um, I've had one really remarkable one in, in this last week for which I want to give thanks to God for. And, uh, and it just reminds me of how privileged we are to have faith in Jesus of Nazareth, to know that he is fulfilling his promise, I will be with you. Um, Let's pray that that message that he brought to our world of compassion, of forgiveness, of hope, of love, the heart of, uh, of our being and the being of God is that we share in the life of God, which is love. And as we look at our broken world and we are deeply concerned, of course, for all the terrible uh, violence and, and tragedy that is unfolding uh, across the world, I'm just reminded of once again what I've been saying for the last few weeks that the more peaceful and united we are, the more we contribute to the peace of the world. If one more person prays for peace, the world becomes a more peaceful place. And even in the midst of that terrible violence, we've had these remarkable experiences of people um, offering peace uh, to their previous uh, captors and, and so on. So, and, and I look back, you know, Pope Francis is constantly pleading with us to be in dialogue uh, with our brothers and sisters for all men and women of goodwill. And of course, it was Francis many centuries ago who went to the Holy Land uh, again to sue for peace. So today, let's entrust our world, let's entrust ourselves once again to the Lord. Let's pray his blessing and peace upon us and the strength of those great gifts of the Spirit to help us to be faithful, faithful servants of the Lord. So I ask God's blessing upon you all for this half term. Um, we beg the prayers of Our Lady, our Mother of Perpetual Succor. We thank God for all the good things. We pray that he will help us to cope with the difficult things. So may the Lord bless your homes and families and fill you with that peace for which we always pray, the peace that only the Lord can give us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>